Hello, Ale. How are you? Ale? Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm great. Mm, excellent. Are you ready for today? Yes, I'm ready. Good. Okay. I see we have Luis, we have Carlos. How are you feeling, Luis? I'm good, sir. I'm good. Thank you. Great. 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 Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, Carlos. Okay. Before we begin, um, do we have any questions about unit one, two, or three? Anything that's not clear or you're not sure how to say or the grammar? No, it's okay. I think all is okay, but we need to practice more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now we're going to practice. Right now we're going to practice. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so I'm glad that we so, have everybody I'm here. Glad that we have we're everybody going here. to go ahead and get started. Let me show you a little bit about what we're going to do today, and then we can go for it. So here we have our midterm exam today. We'll go over the sections first, and then we'll begin. As you can see, it's fairly easy because there are only four sections. It's listening, um, vocabulary, then completing like the writing, and then a reading section. The listening section has two parts. There's a part one with four questions and a part two with only two questions. We're going to listen together. We're going to answer those, make sure it's okay. Then uh, part B, fairly easy. There are several questions, but all of them are multiple choice. So all you have to do is read the sentence and choose the best form to complete it. What are the correct words? Okay. It's more about vocabulary. In part C, we are going to have to make sure that here is the writing. You're going to use all of the vocabulary words that are up here from ambitious to sophisticated you're going to use the word that you think is correct and you're going to complete. And then part two here, it's just a matter of choosing the correct phrase or expressions to complete each sentence that is given. In part three, we have specific vocabulary. We're going to use vocabularies like because, due to, for, and since, and you want to make sure that you complete the sentences with the correct form, whichever one of those that you think is correct. And then the last part of the reading for today is going to be you read and with the information from the reading, you have to select if it's true or false for all of the questions that are given. In this case, there are eight. Okay, so listening, vocabulary, writing, and then the reading section. Any questions before you begin? No. All right, let's make sure that we are ready then. Uh, in that case, let's read the questions for the listening to make sure that we understand what we're going to listen for. So first, let's listen, let's read the questions. Here, what do we want? Who would like to read question number one? You don't have to answer, only read it. Answer, only read it. One, mm -hmm. before, before Patrick's mom finished a high school, she, she worked full time after school. Read the three options. Read please. the three options, please. Okay, both a new car, almost I didn't graduate, almost didn't graduate, worked full-time after school. 
Good. So we're going Good. to listen. So we're going to correct to one. To correct one. Okay. Number two. Okay. Number two. Who's going to read? Who's going to read? Okay. 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 Please read it. Bad. Please read it. Bad. Okay. Bad. Bad. Patrick, mom. Patrick, mom. I've been more serious. You will have. Taking higher level classes. Read the options. We're going to listen and, and check. Okay. okay. Taking our auto mechanics, taking higher level classes, and have more regrets. Okay. Thank you very much. Number three, who would like to read? Me, teacher. Please. To establish a popular coffee bar, Tess and Austin agree it is important too. Have affordable snack, play with music, have soft, attractive lighting. Good, thank you. And number four, who is going to read? Me. Okay, thank you, Ale. Austin surprises Tess by saying he always goes to the ro roasted bean, loves chai tea, doesn't drink coffee. Great. Now, remember, it's okay all of those sentences. It's okay all of the vocabulary before we do the listening. All right, good. So listen and then choose your answer. In this part, you're going to be in the exam midterm part A. I will play the audio for you right now to make sure that it's clear, but you will answer in your own book, in your own platform. One. Mom, when did you get your first car? Well, by the time I was a junior in high school, I had gotten a part-time job so that I could buy a used car. But you won't let me get a part-time job. I know, but before I got my first job, I was really immature. You know, I should have spent more time trying to get good grades instead of trying to get a car. You didn't get good grades? Well, I almost didn't graduate at the end of my senior year. Luckily, a school counselor noticed what was happening. He said I'd be able to buy any kind of car I wanted after I finished college and got a good-paying job. So he helped you get your priorities straight. Yes. A diploma was more important than a car. Two. Now I understand why you won't let me get a job. Good. That's my boy. However, I'm still interested in hearing about what else you did or didn't do in high school. Do you have any other regrets? Well, if I'd been more serious about school, I wouldn't have taken classes like theater production. I should have taken more college-required classes. Do you mean like higher math classes? Exactly. And that's why I'm so concerned about the courses you choose. I want you to have no regrets when you graduate next year. Three. Gosh, Tess. Have you noticed how many coffee shops there are around campus these days? Well, Austin, there are at least five, and each one has a different atmosphere, lighting, furnishings. I don't know how they all stay in business. It sounds normal to me. In order to be successful, it's important to have all those things, plus great drinks and snacks. And it has to be different from the rest. I guess you're right. And don't forget good music. Yes, I agree. There's one place I like best. It's called Jazzy's, and they only play jazz music. And you like that? Sure. It's my favorite kind of music to study by. Four. How about you, Tess? Where do you go? Me? Well, I love the roasted bean because I always get a perfect latte. The roasted bean? Where's that? 
On College Avenue, it's the most popular coffee bar near campus because of its great mix of music. The most popular, huh? Yeah. And for it to stay that way, it needs to attract new customers. So let's go and I'll buy you a coffee, Austin. Uh, thanks, Tess, but I don't drink coffee. But you were... Okay, chai tea then. Let's go. Okay. Now remember, if you need to listen again, feel free to listen again in the platform and make sure that it's clear. In this moment, take answer the questions that you have in your platform. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Now, in part two, we're going to answer two questions. There are two questions in part two. Who would like to read question number one? Thank you, Sandra. Okay. Ellen and Walter probably wouldn't be at the party because uh, then send uh, the text message to Walter. Read the three options, Sandra. Ah, uh, they weren't invited. Ben sent a text message to Walter. Ellen worked with Ben. Okay, great. And the second question? Me, teacher. Okay. Martin thinks, thinks that Jessica shouldn't have baked their boss a birthday cake, gotten a better job, been polite to her boss. Okay. Let's listen and then choose your answer. One. Okay, Ben, I think everything is ready for the party. What time did you tell everyone to show up? Oh, around 7.30 or 8. Great. Are Ellen and Walter coming? Well, I guess so. I sent Walter a text. Oh, no. Walter never checks his phone. You should have talked to him. I didn't really think about it. Texting is just more convenient for me. But you work with Ellen. You could have invited her at work. I'm sorry. I thought Walter would read the text message. I'm going to try to call them right now. Two. You know, Regina, I'm really fed up with Jessica. Why is that? She seems like a pretty nice person. In fact, I really enjoy working with her. She tells entertaining stories. Well, she does everything she can to impress the vice president. She's so polite to him. And she even baked him a chocolate cake on his birthday. Oh, I certainly wouldn't have done that. I think she's trying to get a promotion. Hmm, that's a very big assumption, Martin. Don't forget that she's nice to everyone, not just our boss. Okay, choose your options. All right, now for the other parts, what we're going to do is we're going to work in partners and make sure with your partners, you're gonna have the opportunity to answer all of them. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna check the answers to make sure there aren't any mistakes or in case there are some that you didn't know how to answer, okay? So in this moment, we're gonna make partners. You're going to have time to answer them. You're going to have 30 minutes, 10 minutes per section. You're gonna have 30 minutes and then we're gonna come back. I'll send a message in WhatsApp to make sure everybody is ready or if you need more time. And in 30 minutes, if the most people are ready, we come back and we check the answers together. It's okay? Okay. Hey, teacher. Okay, good. All right, then making sure the instructions are clear. Very nice. Let's take a look.
Alejandra, are you having problems again? Yeah, I'm having connection problems. Okay, let me try to move you to a different group. Maybe that'll make it easier. Jasmine, are you there? Jasmine?
Jasmine, are you there?
Lillian, Alejandra, did you finish? Yes, we finished. Yes, yeah. we did. With Sandra Cecilia, too. Okay, great. Excellent. Then let's check together. Make sure that everything was correct. No problems. Let's see. Okay. So in the listening part, what was number one? The second option. Okay. Almost didn't graduate. Okay, good. Number two. Sorry, Sandra, your internet is is very cut. It's coming in and out. Hi, taking higher level classes. Okay, thank you. What about number three? Play good music. Play good music. Okay, number four. Doesn't drink coffee. Okay, good. Hmm. And the last two, number one and two. Ben sent ben a text sent message to Walter. Okay, great. And number two. Bake their boss a birthday cake. Okay. Good. And as you can see, very nice. All of you are correct. If you had a mistake, you can feel free to correct it. But all of the ones that we selected were the right ones. Okay. Let's go to choosing the correct word. Number one. Who has number one? Once. Once. Okay. Good. Number two. The moment. Okay. Number three. Decided. Decided. Good. Number four. Still halfway. Number five. Who have learned? Mm -hmm. Number six. Shouldn't have been. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Hadn't been. Okay. Good. Number eight. Might have. Okay. Good. Number nine. Must have. Mm -hmm. Number 10. Should have. And the last one. Would have. Would have. Okay, good. Let's take a look. Here, let's double check. So you should have exactly once the moment decided, should have applied, could have learned, shouldn't have been, hadn't been, might have, must have, should have, and would have. Okay, excellent. I see we're doing a hundred, excellent. Now completing, here's where we had to use the different words. Mm, okay. What was number one? Pragmatic. Okay. Pragmatic. Number two? Naive. Naive. Okay. Good. Number three? Carefree. Carefree. And the last one, number four? Rebellious. 
Rebellious. Rebellious. Rebellious. Okay. And here, what did we choose for the correct way to complete the sentence? Has to have a good reputation. Okay, has to have a good reputation. Mm -hmm. Number six. In order, In order to attract. To attract. Okay, good. Number seven. To succeed. Okay. Sorry, I can't hear. To succeed. Number one. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Good. And here, what were the correct words to complete? Eight is because. A is because, number eight is because, okay, number nine. Capital letters, yeah, I don't know, it's, oh, it's important. No, no, it doesn't begin the sentence, so only oh, it's true. when uh -huh. it begins. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, I, I know that, and... Y me pareció curioso, perdón. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Me lo tomar así. Uh -huh. Okay. What about number nine? Since. 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 Okay. And number 10? Four. 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 Okay. Let's double check. Excellent. Four. Since. Because. Remember, only the capital letter is the S. Or just write it normally. All of it. Here, number seven, to succeed in order to attract, has to have a good reputation. And then we are correct. Rebellious, carefree, naive, and pragmatic. Wonderful. Only one more thing to check. The reading, okay? Let's take a moment and see. Number one, what was it? It's true. True. Okay. What about number two? False. False. Number three? True. Number four? True. Mm -hmm. Number five? False. False. Okay. Good. Number six? False again. False again, all right. Number seven. True. True. True, good. Number eight. False. Okay. Let's double check. Excellent. Number eight is correct. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All are correct. Great. Now, in the reading, there were a lot of different types of things, maybe some vocabulary. Are there any words that you're not sure about? Any words that are not clear? Uh, I bet yes. <laughs> okay. Gain it. Gained. Gained. Gained is to increase. So others have gained self-confidence. That means they have increased their self-confidence. Okay. Mixture. Repeat. Mixture. 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 Mixture is like when you mix uh, water, oil, sugar, lemon, mixture. The action. The mixture is the noun. Mix is the action. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
live life arrangement live life in the in the last line this word oh yeah yes okay so it says the livelier Lively, livelier correct livelier this is more entertaining more exciting that is livelier oh, oh. thanks teacher. and arrangement arrangement is synonym of agreement there is an arrangement there is an agreement I don't understand agreement. Neither. Agreement. Okay, <laughs> so agreement is you are you and I are going to meet tomorrow at two o'clock. That is an agreement or an arrangement. Oh, now I got it. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. The other words are okay then. Live liar. Livelier. Livelier. What was livelier? No. Nobody remembers. Livelier was more exciting, more entertaining. No warrior person. Repeat. Like a carefree person. No, like a party. Like a party has a lot of excitement and energy, and it's this is a lively party. Oh, it, it, it's it's like the different opinions make the discussion live live livelier more entertaining livelier. more exciting more interesting this is livelier oh in context is is more understandable thank you you're welcome any other words No. Okay, great. So I'm super happy that we are ready and we finished. I see that everybody here is ready to begin on Monday, June at four. So before we go, let's take a moment. What are you going to do this weekend? What are your plans for Friday, Saturday, Sunday? I think next week, if I remember, next week is the last week, and then we have one week vacation, and then we return. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they're it's going to tell us in the group if we are going to have class in the first week of April. Um, I think maybe not because it's Easter week or Holy Week, but we'll see. So okay. what, are you, what are your plans for tomorrow? Anybody have any plans? Anything interesting for this weekend? Yes. In, I in never had plans. <laughs> Only stay in, home. In my case, we will go to visit to my parents to San Miguel with my brothers. And brothers, only boys, Lillian? No, boys and, and girls. How so do you then say? It's not correct. Brothers. What is for boys and girls? Um, brothers and sisters. But uh, it's okay. But or you can use the word siblings. 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 Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Siblings is brothers and sisters. Well, Lillian, I hope you have a great time. And I hope everybody else also uh, has a nice weekend. On Monday, we're going to 
continue and we only have eight more classes to finish unit four and unit five. And then we have the exam for all of the units. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Right. teacher. Have a Thank nice you. night. Have a great week weekend. You have, a nice night. have a great weekend. Bye. 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 -bye.